The Federal Finance Minister has launched a tirade over WA's border, taking aim at the McGowan government's mixed messaging. Matthias Cormann says West Australians were being locked up indefinitely as businesses in the state's north face ruin. Trouble in paradise. Kununurra businesses say the closed border is killing their livelihoods. That boundary has been... Um Devastating for our business. Charlie Sharp operates Lake Argyle Resort and would normally rely heavily on tourists coming from the Northern Territory, which is just like WA, coronavirus free for months. But booking after booking is being cancelled. A huge majority of Northern Territorians that were ca coming to the Kimberley, uh, as we speak for the uh, September, October holidays, they headed up to North Queensland or even the Gold Coast. You tell me why somebody from the North of Western Australia should not be allowed to travel freely to Darwin and back without having to go into quarantine. I mean, th th there is no reason. Federal Finance Minister Matthias Cormann has had a gutful of the Premier's border policy. You can't get into a better position than zero cases and zero locally acquired transmission. On the back of 48 hours of mixed messaging from the McGowan government, the Senator took aim. Tell us why you are preventing people in Western Australia from visiting their family or having loved ones from those jurisdictions come to visit them here. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I just detect a, a, a level of increasing desperation to try and justify the unjustifiable. WA's Chief Health Officer, Dr Andy Robertson, caused a stir this week by saying he would be happy for West Australians to travel to safe states and territories. Hours after, his new health advice handed to the Premier said otherwise, prompting this attack on the Liberal Party. You just seem to want the virus to come back in. That seems to be what you're trying to achieve here. To, to make that sort of suggestion, it is false, it is offensive and it is beneath him. Now, the Premier's office declined to comment on the Senator's swipe, but this afternoon the Chief Health Officer, Andy Robertson, issued a statement. He says his health advice is always being reviewed, revised and reissued. And, quote, there is no secret or alternative advice being provided. It's the end of another long week, Michael. <laughs> Gary, thank you.